Hi, I'm Arthur. And I'm Andrea. And this is... Heavy Metal Beer Club! You named it... Beer Club? Yes! <laughs> you named it Heavy Metal oh, Beer yeah. Club. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's do it again. <laughs> do it again. Hi, I'm Arthur. And I'm Andrea. And welcome to... Heavy, Heavy Metal, Metal Beer Club! <laughs> and uh, this is our premiere episode... In the last two years, we've been, uh, gosh, to uh, beer tasting uh, breweries in uh, Georgia, right? And we went to Founders Brewery. Tennessee. In uh, Grand Rapids. We, Tennessee. Washington. Washington State. West Michigan. Virginia. So uh, all over the place. Uh, the, the West Coast, Left Coast Brewery. So we'll probably do a thing on that. But we reside soon. in Tucson, Arizona. And so a lot of the focus will be, there's a big, well, it's been exploding all over the place, the beer renaissance with uh, the tap houses and also the microbreweries. Tap houses are a lot of fun because then you can get uh, beers from all over the country, but then also the local breweries are just fantastic to uh, go in and taste everything that they have on their taps and you taste it fresh right from the source and lots of times you get to talk to the brewers we didn't talk about El Paso we uh, did some beer tastings in El Paso at some breweries there which was a lot of fun and I'm sure we'll have some episodes where we talk about that but our daughter and I say our daughter because now she's my daughter as well suggested that we go beer tasting all over the place why don't we just start vlogging it so that's what we're doing, and Heavy Metal Beer Club, because we're both huge music fans, but we do mainly listen to a hard rock and heavy metal music. Some horror for. movies. Oh, yeah, yeah. We love horror films also. Um, Captain Spaulding. There'll be a lot of hard rock and heavy metal references when we do our episodes, and so uh, that's why we decided to call it uh, Heavy Metal Beer Club. And so, hope you join our club and have fun. This premiere episode, we are going to Tombstone Brewery here in Arizona, in Tombstone. And so, if you've ever watched the, you know, the location of the uh, OK Corral, and the beers are phenomenal. If you can, ha if you happen to find them, I don't know what the shipping is like all over the country, the distribution, but you can uh, get it here in Tucson also, and mm -hmm. it's. Their beers are just outstanding. Yeah. So hope you enjoy. Stick with us, and we'll just have fun, right? Yep. Heavy metal beer club. Fire. Now here we are at Tombstone Brewing Company, and uh, any time we come here, we are not disappointed. They also uh, can their beers, and you can find them at some of the places, some of the tap houses in Tucson. And if they get them in, you better get them then because they run out really fast. So good, one of our favorites. And when they have beers on tap, when they have beers on tap, that uh, they they usually will blow the keg pretty fast. Yeah. Uh, Very popular. Always, You can always count on every beer being really, really good. And uh, my flight consists of, you're probably going to have to help me, so the Grand Cru Double Block, and then I have, what's my um, the Brute IPA. second one is a Brute IPA. My third one is the uh, Bright, and, Bright and, Juicy. and Juicy Number 3, which is a New England style IPA. And then uh, my fourth one is the um, Rye IPA, correct? Yes. Yeah, which is uh, all of them. I've already started sipping them, and they're all very tasty. And the difference that I had was the milk, Imperial Milk Stout and all the Hops Double IPA. 
and so we'll take a sip even though I've already had a few sips of this it's uh, this is the Grand Cru double box it's really good yeah very tasty it's um, sweet when you uh, it smells caramely when you add the aroma it also boozy if you like boozy it's uh, has a boozy flavor to it, which is really nice. Slightly, but not too boozy if you don't like too boozy of a beer. And uh, it reminds me very much of a, a barley wine that I had recently. And then, which one is this one for me? This one is the Brute, the Brute IPA, which is a clear IPA. The rest of the other two of my IPAs are um, boozy. Very tasty, not um, not uh, overly hopsy or uh, grapefruity. <laughs> like that, making up words, grapefruity. It doesn't have a very strong grapefruit no. flavor. Is what I'm trying it's to say. It's kind of brute, almost champagne. So. Yeah, that's really good. And which one is is so yours? My second one is the bright and juicy, like you do have. Yeah. Also, but one that you don't have is the all the hops double IPA. It smells very hoppy and it's very dry. Not overly grapefruity. <laughs> <laughs> That's the word of the day. Yeah, that but is very smooth and citrusy. That is that is really good. It has a, a little nice citrus flavor. Slight bitter but nice overly I mean, I very like nice. And then this is the, the bright and juicy. Bright and juicy. Right here, the bright and Cheers. juicy. Cheers. And uh, just the, the name of it, uh, it being a New England style <laughs> IPA, which I really enjoy. And uh, that's that's really good. It has um, just like a, a, an IPA would. You have those uh, grapefruit <laughs> notes to it. Also, uh, you can taste the hops. <laughs> you get somebody with the giggles. And... What do you think? It's really good. It is. It's just like the name, bright and juicy. Very juicy, hazy, tasty, killer. Tombstone beers are always good. Yeah, tombstone beers are always great. You if you get to make it here, you can never go wrong. I'm getting to the rye IPA now, which I've already had a few sips. Now this is a bit darker than the bright and juicy number three IPA, but very tasty. It's uh, 7.1 alcohol by volume, which is the same as the bright and juicy number three, and uh, very flavorful. It's really good. You do taste a little of that rye in there. But as an IPA usually has, it's uh, strong in hops flavor, and uh, nice hint of grapefruit, but uh, very tasty citrus flavor. Uh, again, you can never go wrong with uh, trying any beers here at Tombstone. Tombstone. Okay. Here we are, we got back, and I am trying the Imperial Milk Stout, which is a Imperial 12.5% alcohol, so it's a little high on the alcohol content. Which I always find to be more flavorful for some reason. It smells really good, creamy. It has a smoky taste, a smoky aroma and taste to it. It's a really good stout. Very smooth. You want to try it? Of course I want to try that. Very good. I'm tobacco. even getting a little bit of, yeah, tobacco. I'm getting a little bit of, uh, of sweetness also on the, yeah, it's uh, getting sweeter on the back as of the tongue. As it opens up, it's getting a little sweeter too. Yeah, that's very nice. Very, very good. Um, what one do we need to taste next? I tasted all of mine. Well, let's taste them So again. I think we got it. <laughs> <laughs> so out of all of these, they're all good. Tombstone beers are really good. Um, I, I would say my, my favorite today would have to be the Grand Cru Doppelbach. I would say so too. It's That's really, a 9.5% really ABV. It's a very tasty beer. 
Okay. Here's a book that we just picked up here at Tombstone Brewery, and it's Arizona Brew Trek Follow the Beers, and it's really cool. We're going to get one, and it lists all the breweries in Arizona, and it gives you areas where you could write the things you visited, the rating, the beers you tried so you don't forget, because everybody does forget. So this will come in real handy, plus it'll be fun because then we'll get to record all of the different movies we want to in our film. So everyone should look for one of these. And it even shows you can get a lift ride for 20% off. So we'll be doing that too.